So it's time now to take a look at the pad that's available in Myriad version 4. And uh, to take a look at the pad, you go to View and Display Pad. That will uh, shift things up on the audio wall. And uh, your pad allows you to do quite a large variety of bits and pieces. It uh, offers you basic automation, also enables you to make up some promos as well if you want to, take clips and bits and pieces out of programs, and also uh, will also generate an hour's worth of material for you as well. So let's get started and uh, take a look and see what it can do for us. So very, very simple of its uh, kind of simple status. You could uh, make a list of songs up. You can make a, a running order of a show. So we start off with that one, click on music and uh, we drag in a few tracks that we want. They will want those. We could do a find even and uh, type in some other words. Uh, we've already got that one, but we'll drag it in again. And so you can do a find, bring back there, stick in an uh, advert. And again, we can drag these ones in and it will stick it on top. So there's a couple of adverts for us in there. So we've got some music. Can go back, stick some more jingles in. Again, so we stick those in. And so we've got our playlist down at the bottom. It tells us how long all of the audio in our playlist is at the moment. So that's enough material for 22 minutes. And then it means that we can then go down to the play icon and uh, we will have we can then just click on play and it will help and it will play those songs for us back to back so I'll play that and then move on to the song okay now if you want to add in a, a break a pause so we do that by just clicking on the pause icon down the bottom we can drag pause up to be after black horse and the cherry tree we can add in we can highlight there add in another pause drag that up so as you can see, we can drag in those. So that means that if we uh, jump to the end of the track here, it's going to pause at the end. It's going to queue it up when we've got 10 seconds of the, the last song remaining. And uh, then it will basically sit there and wait for us to do something else. So it plays the end of that. Queues up our next one, but it won't play it because we put a pause in. And then when we're ready for the next item to play, then uh, we just hit on play and it'll fire it off and then uh, fire off the song for us. So that is uh, that is the pad in its most basic form. We'll just turn that off and uh, eject those. So yeah, that's the pad in its most basic form. You could just use it as a shopping list. You can move things up and down in the order. Just left click and drag to move them up and down here. And uh, you can move move those up and down as well. And from that list, you can either like like we did play it or you can actually save the playlist. And so you could just say this is a Saturday show and uh, just save those and you can bring those back up uh, to in your studio on your other Myriad systems. Reopen that pad run and play them out on air. So you could uh, do use this as a way of uh, prepping up your show. Also, from that list that we saved, we can go into the log we scroll down to the bottom here we can then open and add the hour from the file and here's our Saturday show and then that actually gets it into the physical log itself so that's imported in it's imported in our songs here and it's also put our pauses in as well for us because we put a pause in after the uh, black horse and the cherry tree and also after the shapeshifters back to basics track it's pop those in as red and pop them as a live assist hour so that's the pad being used to make up a show you can also use the pad to make up a little promo or you can actually use it to make up a sort of a, a hook if you wanted to as well so let's uh, clear this off and I've got a few bits and pieces that I I want to make up so I know I want that one I then want cart number 3138 drag that one in um, and I want 3143 as well so we can drag that one in that one's finished with we'll stick a separator in between those two songs left click and drag and then we'll stick that at the end and uh, so 
at the moment it's just down as playing that item playing that song that item that song and then that item again but if we go down to the bottom here we've got the ability to only play the hooks and so you can see the duration of those songs has trimmed down and then we could click on play and then that will play them in the cart players down at the bottom one two three one two three but you also have the ability to send the list to just one player so we can click on that and that play that will send it down just to one player here and you can see the total duration is 33 seconds and it's going to contain items from this so uh, let's open the fader and you can have a listen to see how that sounds in the next 30 minutes 30 minutes in the next 30 minutes you'll hear hot fm Here comes another hour of Hot FM. Now, now, Simon Hurst on Hot FM Radio 24-7. So you see, that's uh, made up a nice little promo of uh, music that we've got coming up in the hour and then started off our hour with our hour opener. So that's the hooks there that we've set in as part of Smooth Edit. You need to set those up. So we could do that. We've also got the ability, instead of sending it to a player, we can export that whole list. If we click back on hooks again, export that whole list to a audio wall cart. So we can click up here and we can, well, yeah, we'll use, we'll use cart number 31. So we can say yes to that and it's exported it off there. It tells you who it's been created by and on what date and time it was created. It's asking us whether or not we want to hear it. We're going to say no because we've actually already heard it. And so it's stuck it in there, it means that we can drag it down or we could drag it into our log and play it from there. And so that would be a way that you could also make up very easy promos, maybe saying things that you've missed in the breakfast show, clip of the breakfast show, uh, station ID, another clip of the breakfast show, and then a little outro saying the breakfast show returns tomorrow when you wake up, that kind of thing export that off so that's the export button up here it's pretty clear clear list open list save list that uh, exports the list as one piece of audio that uh, displays the item numbers so the cart numbers that uh, shows what time you want to display you can say no you could say I just want to see the intros I want to see the extras I want to see the total length that kind of thing we'll just say extra uh, down here enables you to add a range of items to the list so it says uh, what's the first cart that you want to add so we could say oh, I want to add number 14 and the last one is number 16 and how many in that range um, I will uh, just have one from that range um, and then you say do you want it listed and it's picked one from between cart number 14 and 16 as the add in the pause is in that's just shuffling so if we click on that you see the list shuffles at the top here just click keep clicking on that it sends the list to the player like we've already seen and you can also send the list to the scheduled log as well so you can say yep yeah, send that to there uh, that hour already exists so we could just say yep yeah, send it to the next hour 1400 and then instant track use instant track to fill the list if we click on that we can uh, go there We'll select Ask actually, and that will bring up the instant track. We did deal with instant track in a previous video, so if you want to find out a bit more about that, then uh, just take a look back in some of the previous courses. And so this allows us to select how many of each of our category of songs we want included in our list. It's going to create an auto fade hour of 60 minutes. And we're going to say, yeah, we want some A list, we want more C list, more B list, and actually we're going to say we want none from the C list. We're going to say choose a jingle every two items and avoid choosing uh, items from the same artist within 15 items. I'm going to just drag that down to five because we don't have too much in our database here. And we click on OK, and you can see it's gone ahead and it's uh, filled up that hour. If we could just click on unclick on hooks. And it's got an hour and 11 minutes worth of material because we've got all of the bits and pieces that we set in at the start. If you drag something in and you don't want it anymore, just double click on it and it will remove it. So if we can remove those songs and then we just have our hour, just over an hour's worth of material here. And so again, we can 
export that we can move that we could export that as a whole show if we wanted to so we may use it to play a couple of songs we may have pre-recorded some voice links we could do all of that and we could export that as one single cart a bit like we did for our little promo over here so uh, we can do that that's up the top there export as one piece of audio um, and so that's all the buttons that we've got there the hooks we've got the loops so if you've set any loops on pieces of audio then you could play just the loops only that's all the icons here at the top and the bottom that is how the pad works here um, you can actually customize it so the pad is wider but we'll look at that in a future video so again you just highlight the item that you want and it'll start playing from the top of the list if we scroll back up to the top there's our list we can move things around once we hit play then it will just start churning through the list if we ever want to stop at any point then we can just click on stop that will stop the pad or we could just add in a pause and drag the pause right up to the top here and uh, stick that in after our song and then that way we can talk after this one it'll queue it up for us and we can hit play whenever we want so it's a pad very very versatile piece of software and uh, very useful on Myriad.